It's Randy Factor time. I'm looking ahead to Thursday and it's another six. You know, these days it's not great for being outside. It's not awful. It's just okay. Today, 88 and 66 about average temperature wise. Winds were pretty light, but it was kind of muggy if you were out in the afternoon. About a half an inch of rain last night at Omaha's Epley Airfield. Uh, pollen levels are down. That's good. Uh, pretty much no tree pollen going forward. Grass pollen, weed pollen, low, low air quality, a lower number at 46. That's now in the good range. In downtown Omaha, all is quiet. 82 temperature, dew point cre creeping up a little bit now, 71. So the feels like is 86. You've got some 77s there in western Iowa, low 80s around the metro and down toward Lincoln. Those dew points around 70 are muggy, and tonight there's not much of a breeze blowing. I mean, just Barely a little bit of a light northeast breeze. Radar's all quiet. Super Doppler 7. Uh, busy last night, though, with the thunderstorms that came across the area. Particularly nasty out here around Columbus, Schuyler, David City. Weakened a bit as they came across the Omaha Metro. We had winds of 30 to 50 miles per hour. There's a look at the activity as it blew up just west of the Omaha Metro. Surged east and then southeast down across Missouri early this morning. Tomorrow, similar weather. Slightly warmer than today. And uh, again, temperatures reaching 90 by later in the afternoon. Area high pressure over the Great Lakes just kind of stuck in place and will stay there. We may see some fog or low cloud cover development. The computer model is hinting at some moisture there. Clearing out in the afternoon, perhaps some spotty showers into Missouri. A couple of fronts west of us, a few storms could get going, but because they're moving into this area of high pressure, likely to weaken before they get to the Omaha Metro and then Friday. Again, a fair amount of sunshine can't completely rule out a spotty shower in the afternoon. There are some fronts around, but nothing really notable. It looks like it's going to touch off thunderstorms. Mostly clear, a little patchy fog possible toward morning 70 for the low. Uh, not bad start, uh, pretty decent early, but we warm quickly by lunchtime. We're in the mid 80s and by late day we're in the low 90s, so slightly above where today's temperatures were. We'll put a 20% on there for late tomorrow night, Friday. Uh, I think it stays dry for the 4th of July. Independence Day is on Saturday. High temperature around 90. Winds pretty light again. Similar weather on Sunday. Early next week may heat up just a little bit. And the next best chance of rain not until the middle of next week. Julie. Got a long stretch there, Bill.